Here's a full match highlights. Titchfield would have started with a level of aggression and purpose. And this was the first real attempt on goal. Beautiful delivery from Brenoy Marshall and Cardiff McKenzie unable to bring the header on target. And they had quite a few opportunities like that did Titchfield. On the other end, Port Antonio, they showed their moments of brilliance. Caron George forcing a save out of the goalkeeper, Justin Harrison. Another look at it. Perhaps a bit unconvincing was his goalkeeping overall. But look at this sequence. Beautiful touch from Jardine Dice. Finding the open man, Caron George. Goal number six for the season, the first of the afternoon. Port Antonio won. Another look at that touch, yeah, delightful. And the pass equally exquisite. And the finish, a striker's finish. You can look at it all afternoon. Caron George opening the scoring for Port Antonio, calling the support from the fans who assembled. He had another shot, flashed that one wide of the target. But such was the intent, the attacking intent of Port Antonio. Here they came forward again. This time it was through Shaquane Hardware. Couldn't force a save. But that was a directly going for the post. They had another moment, did Titchfield. And look at the ball that came to Tafana Ryan, the number seven, as they close out that half. Really should have been on target. Second half action now. And what seemed to be a speculative shot from Shavari Walker after acres of space had been opened up for Port Antonio. Yeah, that had no business passing any keeper. Yeah, and he really will rue that one. That has to be a learning moment for him. Reckless from Don J. Wright. Referee Affleck sending him to an early shower. A red card for that challenge. And McKenzie in the dying moments could have had a consolation for Titchfield, but such was the afternoon for them. Doreen Affleck, seen enough, the Port Antonio Derby going the way of Port Antonio High School in. It's a school board football, the Costa Cup action. Here are the full-time match statistics. Titchfield had 14 shots, three of those were on target. Port Antonio High, they had 12 shots, but only they had four on target, two goals. Nine fouls, five to Titchfield. A yellow card apiece, one red card for Port Antonio. Two offsides for them as well. They had the bulk of the corners, four to Titchfield's one. Three saves made by the Port Antonio custodian and a Titchfield. At the end, they had the line share possession 52, but the goals. The two goals went to Port Antonio High School ahead of Titchfield, and they are the winners of this derby. We're standing by with Gerard, and he has the KFC man of the match. Thank you so much, Dean. Jardine Dice, you are the KFC Big Deal Man of the Match. Congratulations to you, sir. Let me have a chat with you now. Uh, tell me about that game. What do you think your performance was like and the team overall? Well, we've been training, so um, my part of the game is to distribute the ball, and we, we did that, and we get goals, which which is good. So yeah, so you far, did you did distribute the ball very well. Getting an assist. Talk to me about that assist well, when you saw. Well, um, if you know the, the ball at the Brian, huh? he's my um, idol. Yeah. He's uh, a midfielder. He passed the ball well. So that pass is similar to his pass throughout the, um, his game. So, yes. 
All right, so you're into the second round now. Yes, sir. Um, of course, you'll be looking forward to getting good results and going as far as you can in the tournament. How far, though, do you think this Port Antonio team can get? Well, if we train hard as we are doing now, we can reach to the quarterfinal at least. And we just have to take it at much at the time, much at the time, and perform well. All right, we look forward to seeing you throughout the yes. entire rest of the season so thank you so much Jordan guys and congratulations to you once again let's have a chat now with the coach from Titchfield High Raymond Gordon coach of course you wanted to go out on a high but uh, you your team really started the game quite well uh, yeah. glimpses of what we you would have seen said that you, they were capable of when you look at the, the, the match how would you assess it overall um it, it was it was a good game we had a good first half but I, I figure maybe the you know the legs and the motivation seems to have simmered a little bit, and then you know the ascendancy was taken over by the other team. So we we we, we when you play when you, when you when you have that motivation because you're going through is different from when we're just playing for that you know when you say dragon rights or anything like that. But you know so far. I have to reflect on the season and see where we go wrong and um, you know better preparation for next for next season. All right coach well thank you so much hard luck to you and we say goodbye to Titchfield but we'll see you next season hopefully. Yes hopefully. All right that thank was you. coach Raymond Gordon there from Titchfield High and uh, now we have a chat with coach Hilton. Coach into the second round uh, a pretty good game for your boys are you happy with the result? Yeah. I'm happy with the result. Um, as I said to you earlier, you know, it's about these kids getting into their own, you know, trying to play some positive football, listening to instruction, you know, and they went out there today and they did just that. All right, so I have to ask you about the red card. Um, <laughs> you, straight red card, three match yeah. suspension at home. Does that hurt Port Antonio? Um, again, as I said to you, a young team, inexperienced, you know, and just right there with that tackle you saw the inexperience coming out you know so it's about that kid and the team learning from this experience you know let's build on it look it's the game so we just have to move forward from it you know be positive about it you know if he's back then yes that's good whenever he's back but we just have to play some positive football without a good player well the group stage is over now you head over now to the second round what is preparation going to be like of course you'll play one of the higher seeded teams but i'm sure you'll be ready for whoever comes in front of you right it's football and whether they're young yes or no we're in a competition to win you know so these kids and the coaching staff will go now and look at how what we have done in our periodization and how we move forward now you know to get these players ready players ready for the next round yeah you were actually very happy that sports max came out to this side of the country Most definitely uh, exactly how important was it for this game to be on tv and what does it do for football in portland um for one it's a hometown hometown derby you know and at least some of these kids got to showcase what we have to offer here in portland you know they've been watching it for years in every other maybe every other parish in jamaica and they've never seen it here you know so it's something great for the parish for these two teams and you know i know that sports max will be back you know you will be back and again i have to say no respect and thanks for being here thank you too coach congratulations right. thanks to you. much